Star Force newest update finally hit last night and went live for everyone and there is a ton that was added let's not waste any time and just get straight to it because there are over 400 things that they have added fixed and improved with this new update starting off with the brand new photo mode say cheese our latest update brings new ways to show off your modeling skills in space with the addition of new poses and expressions for you and your companions we excitedly await more showing off of your photography obviously we learned about this a little while ago but it is finally here for all users the photo mode update now allows us to have facial expressions and even choose some companion poses this is an update that i've wanted since literally my review of the game so i'm very happy about this because i love visual photography especially in video games so let's just move on we also understand that digipix are precious so we've made an adjustment that allows you to undo without the penalty cost of a digipic during this security mini game now this is fantastic to me because in all honesty i hate digi picking it's not that it's difficult or anything i just find it too slow and the award is usually not worth the hassle i much prefer the old classic professor lock picking mostly just because i can get it done even a master lock in like three seconds i also find that it's a lot more difficult to just find digi picks than it is to find lock picks say in skyrim or bobby pins in fallout 4 in other bethesda games basically so just anything that makes this faster and a little easier is hugely welcomed by me not without fixes we also have a multitude of fixes to quests graphics gameplay and more and jesus christ they weren't lying over 400 bugs have been fixed and things have been improved with this huge update with features being added into the game obviously i'm not going to be able to read them all off otherwise we'll be here forever but let's take a look at some that i feel are worth highlighting along with the new photo mode update there's also an update to our scanners where now we can open doors and harvest with the scanner opened which is great this is definitely going to make scanning planets and moons easier setting course on an inactive quest will now make the quest active again a great little new feature added support for adjusting fov when using third person ship view added auto save when fast traveling from a planet's surface to orbit again great updated the ship ui to perform more smoothly at higher frame rates they also fixed a gap glitch that allows us to access some display cases without picking the lock so no more mark one constellation spacesuits for us at level one which sucks but oh well again there is so much here like i don't think i've ever read such a huge patch note so again, I won't go through all of these, but the patch notes will be linked below. It does look like most of the fixes are just things getting stuck or items disappearing, things that I personally have never noticed with the game. It does appear that they still haven't fixed the bug that makes you get glitched underneath your spaceship once you land at a spaceport, which is the only bug that's really affecting me right now. I haven't seen any others for a long while. They've also fixed the issue of players' heads turning to face the camera when sprinting in third person. Fantastic, I know a lot of you were very bothered by that. They fixed our new Atlantis player homes losing our decorated items if the city changed. Again, that's been a big complaint since launch, glad that that's finally fixed. There have also been some lighting improvements on particles and night when using the flashlight. Depth of field visuals have been updated to look better. Again, just so, 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 so much more that I sadly cannot read all of in this video. It is really amazing to me that people are still complaining after this update. Like, if you look at Bethesda's official post on this, the comments are just filled with negativity, as if they didn't just fix well over 400 bugs, add a small update to the scanner, along with plenty of other things, and basically a complete overhaul to the photo mode system. I don't care, I think this update is great. Six months after launch on a single player game and it's still getting huge consistent updates like this, I'm very happy as a Starfield player. Obviously I'm eagerly awaiting new content, but I'm happy to let Bethesda fix the game first, improve everything possible, even if most of this stuff is not affecting most players. Like I said, I haven't seen any bugs in Starfield, at least any huge major ones like some of the stuff they fixed in this update for a long while. The more they fix, the sooner they can push out new content, which is great. Not to mention all of these quality of life features, which are just fantastic. It's again, the small things like the update to photo mode, adding in an FOV slider, letting us open doors and harvest with scanners, setting inactive quests as active when we set course to them, adding new ways to travel, city maps, and all the rest of it is the small stuff like that that's going to improve Starfield over time. A new DLC or questline 
isn't going to massively change the game, it will just give us something to do for a few hours. I for one hope that Bethesda continue to update Starfield as much as they can before they give us new content, I'd rather play the new content with all of these cool little new quality of life features and small new updates than without them. I've said it a million times now, let Bethesda update their game and fix what they deem necessary before they push out new content. Yes, I would love to have Shatter Space in my game right now, yes, I want the creation kit to be out so modders can make even more content for us, but again, I'd still rather see improvements to the actual base game before we get anything else like that, because this stuff is what's going to make the game better in the long run. Anyways, look, I'm going to keep this video relatively short, since I don't usually post on Wednesdays, and also because I want to go and play this new Starfield update. But if you want to read the whole patch notes, they will be in the description below. If you enjoyed the video, I kindly ask that you leave it a like, as it really helps out myself and the channel as a whole and of course consider subscribing if you do want to stay up to date on straight to the point content on starfield fallout elder scrolls and plenty of other rpg news lastly as always a huge massive thank you to our channel members for their monthly support i know some of you guys have updated your membership levels recently so i apologize that the banner is out of date i'll get it fixed asap anyway with all of that said and done thank you all so much for watching and i really hope to see you next time peace